Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page and I've got here a, one of the pages out of my original and I've got this napkin that I wanted to use a partially this a section for diagonally for my page but then I thought instead of trying to cut it I'll just use the whole napkin uh, in the background and then exclude the areas that I don't want. So I'm going to uh, start gluing my napkin uh, to my page and of course I've already taken the white layers from the back. So I'm just going to smear some uh, glue, hopefully quickly. So I can move on. Here we go. I hope I covered everything. And now the napkin. And I don't care if there are wrinkles, just flatten it on my page, like so. And let's see, I don't want it to stick to my table, so it's better that I'm, I'll wipe. down like so okay and I want glue on top so it will be secured and sealed here we go so now I'm uh, I need for it to dry and I'll come back when it's dry and I will continue. I'm back. I'm back. So uh, it's not completely dry and only I only waited so I can trim the edges and I even added a little bit of glue here. Uh, just so maybe I will get some crackle if not not but if it uh, will work then uh, it will be great and I've got here a white gesso I've got here let's say this is a crimson or blue old navy acrylic paint and here I've got this is Americana decor chalky finish I've got it like two years, I've bought it for some furniture and it just, uh, it was just on the shelf for uh, the last two years so I decided maybe I should use it <laughs> in my artwork. So let's see, I want to start uh, here and I still got a gesso on my a uh, paintbrush so it it's going to be a uh, varied the paint i'm picking uh, from uh, also from uh, the lighter color so uh, again i will have variation I don't want solid color. So as I said, I want uh, something that will, uh, I want these flowers and I want something that will be a uh, diagonal on my page. So I'm going to exclude uh, several several areas to achieve that. Maybe. 
maybe we'll see maybe I will lose this one we'll see just putting down paint now no I'm lo I don't like it I need more here Do I want more? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a little bit here. Well, I'll move to the other side. I'm flipping uh, the page over so it will be easier for me to work. And here I'm going with the gesso with this color again excluding what I don't want Again, I'm playing with both colors, so I will have variation. Flipping it over so I can see what I'm doing in general and if I need to exclude anything else. Yeah, I don't want this one. I think the paper, the wrinkles from the paper napkin gave me quite a lovely texture on the back. So there is another uh, thing good with in this uh, thing, kind of background. See I'm trying to combine the two colors here where they meet. I need more of the darker blue. Yeah, 
something like that maybe lose I'm I need to lose this flower yeah No. <laughs> Sometimes I have some kind of ID and when I get to uh, put it on paper it's not what I was aiming for. Yeah, I'm leaving it like this. I just want to add a little bit of the darker blue here on the edges yeah and maybe a little bit more here And I'm thinking I uh, need a little bit more of the lighter blue. Let's see. Okay, now I'm satisfied. <laughs> Let's leave it be before I regret <laughs> what I'm doing. So, now I am going to let this dry. I want to add a little stamping here and a sentiment. And when it's dry, I'll come back. I'm back. So, I only added a little bit more white here because I know I want to put my sentiment here. And now I want to add more interest to my background I've got here an ink pad a memento nautical blue and a hand a written a script something like that I don't know what to call it and it's a, just a stamp I ordered a, online from China Noth no brand no nothing so here we go just in the background to add interest and I haven't uh, put down any here again I want my sentiment here and so this is a this I uh, now I want to put my sentiment I've already uh, stamped it on rice paper because uh, it blends uh, nicely in the background while once it's uh, glued i want to trim a little bit of the excess here don't need all this and i'm not using scissors because i want the this ragged edges to blend uh, better this way you can also stamp on the white uh, layers of napkin it will also blend nicely with your background I just had my rice paper handy uh, from another thing I've done yesterday. And now, just because I said rice paper blends nicely with the back, it won't blend. <laughs> Well, it depends on the rice paper. There are uh, ones that are more transparent and ones that are not so. 
but it's kind of nice how it uh, goes on my page so I don't have anything to complain about and we'll see once it's dry how it will look I can still uh, when it's dry I can still go in and uh, with the acrylic paint and let it blend more so now I want the uh, details here and I've got this stencil which I'm now going to take with a makeup sponge the two colors I've got here the, the lighter ones and let's see again I've got the lighter blue and a little bit of gesso let's start oopsie <laughs> Here we go. bit more here and I think I'm finished yes that's it that's my page I just need it to dry as you can see uh, the glue will take some time and this is it I hope it gave you some ideas and thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below and I'll be uh, seeing you in my next video bye for now